Today we have with us uh, a group of students among America's best. To you, we say, we have only completed a beginning. We leave you much that is undone. There are great ideas undiscovered, breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers. The reason for the denial was, uh, number one, we didn't, they didn't know if these were hostile and could we uh, protect ourselves from them. Didn't want the Soviets to know, so they could devise to, to lie about it and cover it up. Decades ago, visitors from other planets warned us about where we were headed and offered to help. But instead, we, or at least some of us, interpreted their visits as a threat and decided to shoot first and ask questions after. Fifty percent of all Americans believe the extraterrestrial explanation accounts for these sightings. Up to as many as 90 percent of Americans believe the government is outright lying. Uh, the polls are unambiguous. Year after year, the same thing. In fact, if you could talk anonymously to people, even in Congress, probably 50 percent of members of Congress already confirmed, convinced that the extraterrestrial presence explains this phenomena. Disclosure is at hand. It is very close, and the American people need to prepare themselves very soon for an announcement from our government that there is, in fact, an extraterrestrial presence engaging this planet and a human race. simply sit down, write three, two or three paragraphs to the president-elect, put it in an envelope, set it aside, and then address it to the president-elect and whoever just send it. That's, that's nothing. We're talking 15 minutes. You don't have to commit something. You don't have to write some novel. You don't have to write some poem. Simply two or three paragraphs. I want disclosure. I want you to be briefed. I want congressional hearings. And we want that technology you've been working on from those crash vehicles. That's all you got to say. You don't have to give them a five-page rendition of the sudden event you had in 1974. You don't have to tell them about your contact experience. You want to tell them your contact contacting, feel free. You, don't, you just want to make the key point. That's all we need. It's not how many long letters we get. It's how many letters we get. I would like to see one million half-page letters, ten times more powerful than 100,000 ten-page letters. Okay? Yeah. So short to the point. We're talking 15 minutes and 42 cents to hand to change the history of the world. You put the, just those things in two, three paragraphs in a letter. Done. You don't need any more. You finish. Put it aside. Wait for November the 5th. Address it. Go down to the box. We're talking 15 minutes of your life. Act it collectively with the rest of your fellow citizens. And it's very possible by the spring of next year, your government's going to finally acknowledge to you that we have been engaged by extraterrestrials for six decades and maybe for 6,000 years. And then after that, we're going to build a new world and it's going to be the most exciting thing we'll ever see if we live a thousand lifetimes. That's what's ahead of it. We don't have to listen. We'll be able to deal with the post-disclosure world and all that means and not have to spend the rest of our lives, you know, listening to how fast the polar ice caps are melting, how much money we're losing in our 401ks, more hypocrisy and lies from government, uh, listening to who invaded who the next day. Who wants to spend the rest of their life having to listen to that stuff? It's time to turn a page. It's time to move into, you know, you know these candidates, Joe, They've been talking about change, change, oh, yeah. change, change for like, what, change, two years? Change. Yep, change, change, well, change. For those of you in Brooklyn, I think you probably know what I mean when I say, hey, guys, I got your change right here.